Hey everyone, welcome back to Two Tents Left. Uh, didn't really think I was going to do many more of these videos, but uh, here we are. I have something really special came to me from Zeiss today. Uh, by the time you guys get this video, y'all will know that I shot the Sheepdog Showdown at the end of July as my first pro two-day centerfire match in the PRS. Um, I walked the prize table, and what I grabbed as my prize was this. It is a 50% off Zeiss certif certificate. Um, there were two Zeiss sponsored shooters at the event who were ROing. That would be Ken and Stephanie. Uh, big thank you to them. They let me look through both of their optics, the Zeiss LRP S3 and S5. Um, and kind of get an idea for what I might want to use the certificate for. Uh, I got on the Zeiss website and put in for an S5, which is the higher end optic. It has German shot glass, which is owned by Zeiss. Uh, and unfortunately, the code didn't work. Now, I didn't read the fine print. Totally my fault. Uh, said that the S5, amongst two other optics, were excluded from 50% off. But there are alternative discounting options. If I wanted them, I just had to call customer care. Uh, called customer care, got a hold of a guy named Bill, and he was absolutely amazing. He, he worked it all out. Instead of being a 50% off retail gift, it ended up being 30% off because of the higher end nature of the optic. Um, I put the order in yesterday morning and it is here today. Um, absolutely amazing. I took the packing label off the top of this and I covered up my addresses. That's all I've done to this box so that you all have full disclosure. I paid still a significant portion of money for this optic. Um, this optic is on the same level as say a ZCO or a Kales. Uh, the attacker, any of the Swaro optics. Uh, this is a top tier prime optic. So we're going to open it up. We're going to take a look at it and we're just going to kind of see. So here we go. Also, I'm excited to see how this thing comes out because the UPS dude, I watched him through the window, was not particularly gentle with this box, even though it says fragile on it. So, uh, really it was FedEx, not UPS. So FedEx, thanks, uh, thanks for that guys. Making my fucking heart stop. Um, you know, definitely a fun way to, to go through the day. Um, all right. So good news. We're seeing bubble wrap first thing. That is exactly what I want to see with something of this high an end. So, oh yeah, that is a ton of good, sturdy bubble wrap. Got some paper. I did also order the sunshade. So here's the sunshade. Nothing super special about that. I just figured if I was going to have the optic uh, and I was going to have 30% off, it might be good to have a sunshade. Now... That first thing I will say is the box is heavy, not heavy in a bad way, but just, you know, heavy. So that is a wicked clean box, guys. It is super pretty, super beautiful. I ordered the Mill Radian version with a Christmas tree reticle. This thing, I mean, it is clean. It is clean, clean. So we're going to slide and that is that is tight we're going to slide that cover off and then we're gonna where's it open oh just lifts right off the top oh it's got the little logo on the side all right so here we go we can see that we have the standard like high density foam kind of holding everything in We've got our little tool for setting zero stop and setting your windage and whatnot. It's just a little Allen 
with Torx on it. I know they use a number eight and number six on this, which are weird sizes you don't find everywhere. So that, got to make sure I don't uh, misplace. It comes with, it looks like kind of the standard bungee um, caps. Now that being said, I have a Tenebrae front cap already for this. And I have, oh, it is warm. It must have been warm as shit on that truck. Uh, so I've got Tenebrae caps for this, at least for the front. The back is most of the time going to be covered by a trigger cam. As you guys know, I tend to uh, run that camera for pretty much everything. So 34 millimeter main tube, a 56 mil objective. I mean, this thing is nice and it is super super clean um i wonder if i could actually get it to look oh all right pretty close um one of the things that sold me on this is that every mill has a harder stop so you go from zero to one and it kind of is a little bit harder to twist maybe we'll do see it here a little better so two, three, I like that a lot. That gives you a physical tell. Uh, it is a daylight bright illuminated reticle. It has a ton of elevation and windage in this. Uh, adjustable diopter, just like every other, you know, optic on the market. So guys, thank you for tuning in and taking a look at this brand new scope with me. I am very, very excited to get this mounted and get it on my rifle. And uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, help me bring more stuff like this. Well, maybe not necessarily like this, but help me bring more stuff to you. So guys, thanks so much. Have a good weekend. Get out there and shoot some matches.